Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, just because of all the controversy uh, regarding the release of the live action movie that's going to come next year, 2024 and because I've been seeing a lot of these videos uh, on YouTube, on uh, Facebook and Reels all criticizing the actress Rachel Zegler for saying weird, weird whatever the way she's saying, she comes off as being so unlikable uh, in her interviews, to be honest. Uh, she is dooming the film, I guess. Uh, and it's a beloved film uh, that came out in 1937. They're doing a remake of it. And she is putting down the movie. <laughs> How stupid can it be? Now, it's either a plot by Disney, uh, a, a marketing scheme, to be honest. Uh, not a plot, but a, a scheme. Or she is that stupid, to be honest. So yeah, so I decided to watch. I would say rewatch. I've seen this many many times. The last time was in 2000, uh, around uh, October of 2021, and uh, decided to rewatch it again just because of all this hoopla going all about it. You can't scroll through reels uh, on Facebook or Instagram without seeing this thing being mentioned. So 1937, the very first Disney animated movie came out, like I said, 1937. Based on the 1812 German fairy tale by the Brothers Grimm. And it was the first full length movie. Like 1812. Amazing. Uh, I wouldn't know any of the actors or the people who voiced the... Uh, the actors who voice the uh, character. So let's just go with Snow White. A uh, beautiful young lady, her parents are dead. She is a princess, but she's living with the wicked, cold hearted stepmother, the queen. Um, and she's jealous of Snow White's beauty. And she asks the uh, her magic mirror, who's the fairest of them all. The mirror says, has always been saying it's the queen, but this time says it's Snow White. So uh, Snow White happens to have met this young prince. Uh, she falls in love with him when he hears her singing and he falls in love with her. Uh, the same day is when, it's on the same day as when the mirror tells uh, the queen that it's Snow White who's the fairest of the lot. So the queen orders her huntsman to go and take Snow White deep into the forest, kill her and bring her back her heart in a jeweled box. The huntsman is not able to do so, he is, and he tells her to run away. She runs into the forest, she is immensely very scared, but then finds out that a lot of wooden animals are like cute little creatures. And they are actually, uh, you know, they want to comfort her. So she starts singing once again, and the birds and the little critters are all uh, happy with her. They take her to this woods in the forest, uh, sorry, the cottage in the woods woods of the forest, the cottage in the woods and uh, she sees uh, seven small chairs in the cottage uh, and she assumes it's all children but she cleans up the place, cooks a meal and then soon they find out that hi home, hi home, it's home to a... sorry. Uh, the seven dwarves, Doc, Grumpy, I always forget the names by the way, it's Doc, I always remember Doc, Grumpy, I remember Doc Grumpy, I remember Happy. And then I forget, sleepy, bashful, sneezy, and dopey. <coughs> and they were working in the mines, and they came back home. They were surprised that the place is clean, no dust. <coughs> and they think it's a ghost or something like that. They try to, uh, they scare on the witch. They go and confront her, but then they find it's actually Snow White. So she offers to cook for them. She offers to clean the house in order for, in exchange for her staying there. They're happy, they sing songs. Except for Grumpy, Grumpy is very, he's grumpy. So they all sing and play music. The next day, uh, uh, the queen finds out that Snow White is still living. So she creates this magic potion, poisons an apple, and uh, takes it to <coughs> the wood. The curse, will, sorry, the curse on the apple will basically put whoever eats it into a long death-like sleep. It can only be broken by love's first kiss, or true love's first kiss <coughs> so 
she becomes this old hag and I, I remember as a kid I was actually scared by this and a crow as well I was scared by this portion so she goes uh, when the dogs are not there she basically uh, gives this to Snow White tempts her she takes a bite of it and she falls into this death like stage <coughs> the dogs return they see the the see the hag the queen basically they chase her and she <coughs> she dies to her death all the animals in the in the woods and the dwarves are all sad <coughs> they have a funeral for <coughs> Snow White in a glass coffin I don't know why I don't know why I'm coughing by the way and then the prince uh, happens to hear about this so he goes sees, sees the sees Snow White in there he is saddened but he kisses her and uh, that breaks a spell and they both go off to live in his castle. The dwarves and the animals are all rejoicing as the prince and Snow White leaves. And thus ends a nice, nice little story for young kids to enjoy. This movie was made on a budget of 1.5 million which at that time must have been a fortune. And it made 418, 418 million in the box office. And it was the very first one, of course, the second one was Pinocchio. Love these two movies, they're from my childhood. It was so much fun to watch. So much joy it has brought to so many kids. <laughs> I haven't watched the new movie, of course it hasn't been released yet. I do not know whether, when it's being released, I know it's in 2024, but I don't know when. I will definitely try and watch it. And I will give you my review of that movie <laughs> when, after I watch it. This one. 9.5 out of 10. Good night.